Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback, Super Bowl edition. Paul Bear Bryant, the legendary coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide, called him the greatest athlete I ever coached. He's the first quarterback to win both a national championship in college and a Super Bowl in the NFL. He was two times, two times the passing leader in the league, two-time MVP in the league. He's the first man in history to throw for over 4,000 yards in a single season. He led his team to victory in Super Bowl III against the heavily favored Baltimore Colts in a game that changed the face of professional football. That's the first time the AFL, the American Football League, won the Super Bowl, and that led directly to a merger between the AFL and the NFL, which created today's juggernaut, the NFL we know today. Joe Willie Namath. Grew up in Beaver Falls, about 30 miles from where I grew up in Butler, Pennsylvania. He is one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1985, and he did lead the New York Jets, his team, to victory in Super Bowl III following the 1968 season. But here's the thing. In that 68 season, Namath didn't win. The Jets didn't win because he threw more than he ever had. In fact, he threw for almost 1,000 yards less in 68 than he threw in 67. That's the 4,000-yard season. That was the year, 68 was the year, when Joe Namath learned to put less pressure on himself and more trust in his team. Five games into that season, the Jets were 3-2. and two. They should have been 5-0. and zero. They were a great team in the making, but they lost two games because Namath threw five interceptions twice. In two separate games, Joe Namath threw five interceptions. Unbelievable. Following that catastrophe, one of his, be his best friend on the team, the safety on the team, came to him and said, Look, Joe, you have got to put less pressure on yourself. Trust us. We've got the best defense in the league in a really good running game. You don't have to force throws. You don't have to do it everything. You don't have to put it all on your shoulders. Trust us. Trust your team. That's the year when Namath learned to put less pressure on himself and more trust in his team. Nothing uh, exemplifies that better than the fourth quarter of Super Bowl III. The Jets had dominated the heavily favored Colts, a Colts team that many believed was the greatest team ever assembled. The Jets had dominated them through three quarters. They were ahead comfortably. And in that fourth quarter, Joe Namath did not call his own number once. Zero passes in the fourth quarter. His head coach, Webb Eubanks, wanted to call some pass plays, but Joe told him, no, they're beaten. We just need to run the ball chew up clock, win this game. Joe Namath became a champion. The Jets became a champion because that was the year he put less pressure on himself and trusted more in his team. After the game, a reporter said to him, you're king of the world. He smiled, shook his head, and said, no, we're kings of the world. We got the team, brother. Here's the question. Do you need to put less pressure on yourself and more trust in your team? Put differently, are you working for God or with God? There's a difference. When we work with God, we have a sense of being a partner with God. Sunday, we continued our sermon series, Beginning Again with God. And from Genesis 2, we heard, in Genesis 2, we hear God creating human beings from the dust of the earth and then breathing into us the breath of life and then placing us in a garden to till it and to keep it. We were created and are saved to be partners with God, to live our lives together with God, not just for Him, as if God gives us something to do and then steps back and and watches it to see how we do it. No, he wants to do it with us. He wants us to be partners together with him. But a lot of us, if we're honest, just do work for God, not so much work with God. We need to put less pressure on ourselves and more trust in our team. God wants to work together with us. So what's the game plan for this week? It's pretty simple. Obviously, we need to put less pressure on ourselves and more trust in our team, more trust in God to begin working with God, not just for God. And here's one way to do that. Pray through the day. Pray your way through the day, through the changes in the day. Every time you start something new, pause for just a moment. And it can be as simple as saying, God, I want to do this with you. It could be going for a walk or going to work or going shopping or working on your taxes, whatever it is, just say, God, I want to do this with you. I want to live my life. I want to spend this day together with you. Pray your way through the changes in the day. Each time you start something new, pause just long enough to say, God, I want to do this with you and not for you. 
were not just for you. I'm going to put less pressure on myself and more trust in you. That's the game plan for this week. I hope you have a great week.